Hi guys, it's Edie here. Um, I another inspirational moment from Edie's car. Okay, <laughs> uh, I have a long commute, so I have a lot of time to think. And I just got done with a private, and he's an incredible lead. Um, I've worked it with him for about maybe the past two, three years, something like that. Anyway, he's gotten amazing. And um, now I dance with him just to see what kind of moves he's learning from congresses all over the country and all over the world so I can keep up with what's up, what's going on out there. Anyway, um, he said that his number one pet peeve is really heavy follows. Not physically heavy. I mean, a woman could be 90 pounds and she could just throw down all this weight on him. And um, we're not talking about physical, we're talking about being heavy. And I have uh, a gal that I'm training and she said, Edie, I need to take a private lesson just to learn how to dance with this guy because I, I don't understand his lead or whatever. And it's not that it's not that you don't understand his lead, it's that, it's that you're not light enough to be sensitized to his lead. So sensitive to where even the slightest pull or the slightest flick of the hand, you'll be able to catch right away. And the way you do that, technique-wise, is being super light in your following, okay? If you are following heavy, if you are, if you are waiting for the guy to push you from point A to point B, you're never going to be able to dance with these type of men, okay? Um, my experience has been that if, let's say for example, we have the analogy of clapping hands, all right? If you, now I can clap hands two ways. I can clap hands like this, or I can clap hands like this. The first one hurts, and it's hard, and it's hit, right? For some of you, it hurts so good. <laughs> For me, it used to hurt so good, anyway. <laughs> um, but now, I prefer this. Why? It's lighter, it's, it's faster, it doesn't hurt so much. I'm more sensitive to every feeling around me. And what that does is it helps me understand a super sensitive lead like just a, a lead that is so good that any little thing he does, I catch right away because I'm sensitized to it. And I think I got that from dancing with um, some of the top musicalists in the world, namely Peter Faguet. Peter has a very light lead, but when, it, when, he, when the time calls for it, sorry, this just fell over. When the time calls for it, he hits the brakes and hits in the music super hard and super fast because he allows for that that soft 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 hit hard soft 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 hit hard and I had to actually get used to that and in order for me to get used to that in order for me to recognize that I had to learn how to be soft and light myself in order to feel and go into his soft and light lead and the way that happened to me is one day at a Congress um, I was feeling sick. In fact, I was I was getting a cold or something. I think we were in Stockholm, Sweden, and um, I was dancing. I wasn't up to it. I wasn't up to my old feisty, you know, hard hitting Edie. And I was like, I was just sick, and I I had to dance. You know, as part of the contract to dance. So I was like, okay, I'll just dance with anybody. And Peter comes up to me. I didn't even know him, know his name, nothing. And we started dancing, and I just not, was not up to it. And he put me in a very soft lead, and I was soft, and he was soft, and it was just like very light. And all of a sudden, it was just, it was to a musical music. And I'm thinking, this is amazing. This guy's incredible. And I just was going with his flow. It was as if he, I was the water, and he put his hand just right inside the water and started to make it flow, you know, rather than punching it hard or shaking it up or blowing on. He just let, he just let it flow, right? And it was so awesome. And, I, I was, and then he hit a hard hit, bam, in the music. And then another one, bam. And I thought, my gosh, I woke up. I forgot I was sick. I said, who are you? And he goes, Edie, I've danced with you many times before. And I didn't recognize him. And um, I said, no, really, what's your name? And he says, I'm Peter. You know, don't you remember we danced? No, I, you never danced with me like this. And he goes, well, you never let me dance. And I was thinking, wow. 
I never let him dance. What did that mean? I was so into pulling and pushing and yanking and back leading that I didn't even give the guy a chance, maybe. I don't know. And so looking back at that, I'm thinking, wow, I let him dance. And um, what that came from was me settling down and, and pulling back and, and softening up into his lead. And, and I discovered, I mean, looking back now, but I discovered that being super sensitive to any man's lead is much more important than being stubborn, strong, independent Miss Woman, right? Um, and making the dance a beautiful harmony of masculine feminine, you know? You're much more beautiful and you're much more attractive, I guess I should say, attracted to lead. I'm sorry, to, yeah, to lead. If you're following is in itself a piece of art or a beautiful, fragile um, structure, you know? And the way you do that is super light. But it does require a light lead. And now if the guy is super hard and he's pulling and yanking you and this, that, and the other, it's like he said today, it's a chicken and the egg. You know, what? Can, the girls will get heavy if the guy's super hard. Ah, pulling, yanking, throwing. I'm gonna dig my heels in and I'm gonna get super heavy for him. Why? Because he's super heavy for me. And then the girls become super heavy and then the guys have to become super heavier, harder leads. And so now you have this yin and yang going on to where she's heavy and he's hard, she gets heavier, he gets harder, and it's just like a big cluster screw, you know? And so in the Black Belt Salsa system, we teach a really light lead, not too light, okay? I mean, you can still feel it, but not super heavy. It's just a good, solid, nice connection. We call it a number five connection. And um, on a scale from one to 10, you know, anyway, you have to take the program. So ladies, my advice, my tip to you is to flow into his, his soul through through your touch and to be light for him. If you're heavy, he's going to end up and throw you around and you're not going to be able to feel the highest quality dancers in the world. You're not going to be able to feel their leads. All right. The highest quality dancers in the world appreciate light, fast, um, solid, balanced follows. And you can't get that by pulling, yanking your weight back and forth. You have to be light, fast, like this, and super, super sensitive and super aware of any little idiosyncrasy in his leading, okay? And the way you do that is through practice, obviously. So um, this gal that I'm, that I'm training, she says, wow, I need to take a private just to learn to dance with that guy. No, what you need to do is you need to lighten up in your following. Do not back lead, okay? Do not back lead. Just rest into his soul and let him take you to places that you've never been. Allow him to dance you, okay? To, to dance with you, I guess you could say. Um, and it'll be a beautiful harmony once you understand the technique of that type of lead and of that type of follow. I do not condone men pushing hard and having to get her from point A to point B with such brute force your right arm becomes larger than your left arm, guys. Okay, no. And ladies, I don't want you to promote that. I want you to flow into him and be part of his air around him. Okay, part of the, the essence of who he is. And it's a beautiful harmony between lead and follow. Okay, so ladies, lighten up and um, keep practicing. Okay, keep dancing. Bye.